This video is brought to you by Cool Green Clothing coming straight up out of that DMV. You know what it is. This that Baltimore designer right here. Come on now. Come and show some love and show some support. Go online right now. CoolGreenClothing.com and make your purchase. Oh yeah, by the way, if you ain't cool and getting the green, you're in a way. And that's just basic. I, I. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy Tony two times and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end to hear the full story and all the details in the case. For the day one fam, y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Oh yeah, feel free to share the channel with your peoples. Everybody is welcome. Let's get right into the story. One thing about the streets, they are very political. If you choose to jump off the sidewalk and play in that field, you have to understand the politics. For example, you grow up on or find yourself trapping on a block that's jamming or doing numbers. You and your guys might be solid. And people know not to even come around there and try to sell a fuck. Or for out-of-towners, that means a cigarette or things will get real. But just like with anything political, it's always another team building their soldiers up and getting their bread up to take over your territory because of the profits their area makes. Usually whoever has the most money and power wins the war. With any environment with a way of life is survival of the fittest, people don't like feeling like it's a threat lurking around. You could be a dude that's cool with everybody, even two sides that's beefing with each other. In your mind, you want to play peacemaker. Like, I'm going to go talk to yo and them over there and tell them, shorty and them down there, cool. Not even knowing, you just pitch yourself in a trick bag. Everybody is now all eyes on you, seeing what type of time you are on. Because sometimes playing the middle is just as dangerous, especially when individuals have real beef and you just might be forced to pick a side or worse. And on this episode of the Baltimore Way, we'll be discussing a case of some beef on the block about money and territory that led to an ambush. Back in 2021, 27-year-old Dante Price was navigating life in Baltimore. A East Side native, Dante found himself operating in the city's open-air drug market. And his area was Northeast Baltimore, Frankfurt Shopping Center to be exact. Anybody who knows anything about Sedonia in that area knows it's a lot of foot traffic with a lot of apartments nearby, but also it's wide open, causing people from other parts of the city to try their hand, come up there, post up, and try to get their product off. But Dante and his guys weren't going for that. No stranger to the street life, young man had already caught an attempt in the same area years ago in 2015, when he was just 21 years old. But now a little bit older, you would think he would be a little bit more laid back. Dante kept some hoppers or for out-of-towners, young dudes around him, just in case things got wild in the shopping center. But the main goal was to make money. On April 22nd, 2021, it was business as usual. Dante and his men were posted up hitting sales when someone he considered a friend pulled up. A man we will call Troy for the sake of the story. Troy dapped him up and felt he could politic with Dante because he had knew the man for over 10 years. During the conversation, another associate of both of the men named came up, who we will call Ty. Dante told Troy, your man Ty owes me $300. Tell him kick out my money or I'm going to hit his head. Troy attempted to tell Dante it's not that serious, which caused him to feel some kind of way, like Troy was siding with Ty. So Dante stepped back like, oh yeah, you can get here too. Still trying to calm the situation down, Troy left after that, but came back trying to get Dante to use logical thinking. Like, yo, you gonna crash out over $300? That's when Dante again told Troy, like, yo, go ahead with all that. If you picking sides, go with your mans and stay from up here. You would think that would be the end. But Troy drove to Ty's house to pick him up. Like, yo, if we go talk to him, we could probably squash the beef. And y'all could figure out something on the bread you owe him. Troy drove back up to the shopping center. 
with Ty this time. He pulled up on one of Dante's little mans. 19 year old Kahi Richard. He asked him like Shorty, what Dante at? And he stated that he was on the other side of the shopping center. Then asked like why? Troy stated, nothing. I just want to holler at him. Feeling like the situation was a little bit shaky because Troy had already been up there two times to talk and now came back a third with Ty. And he hit Dante like, yo, I'm about to bop up there. Where you at? Troy came back. As Troy and Ty were in the car, Ty told him to drop him off real fast. He had something to take care of. But Troy still determined to get both his friends on the same page, dropped off Ty, and still drove through the plaza to find Dante. He stopped at the gas station and sat in his car. Seconds later, Dante walked up like, yo, why you keep coming around here? Opened the door, smacked Troy with the gun, telling him, like, roll out. Before seconds later, letting off multiple shots, causing his man's Kahi to also shoot too. Troy tried to get out the jam. He hit the gas and sped away, but not before being hit multiple times. As over 16 shots were let off, despite being shot and hit, somehow Troy managed to make it out and drive himself to a local hospital. Stable, but badly hurt. He went under two surgeries before being able to talk to police. Troy let them know everything, that he was just trying to get Dante not to do nothing to Ty because he considered both the men his friends. And he thought he could get through to Dante because he knew him for over 10 years. He told police Dante and his mans ambushed me. With that information, BPD put out a warrant on Dante and Kahi, charging both the men with attempted first degree hit, reckless endangerment, first degree assault, and using a firearm and commission of a violent crime. This made the shopping center even hotter than usual, with police looking for the men. Kahi was quickly picked up and taken into custody, but Dante was MIA and went on the run. Months would go by with no sign of the man, landing him on the Maryland's most wanted list. For over seven months, Dante was still free, with police describing the case as an ambush about drug territory. They alleged that Dante felt Troy and Ty were trying to pull a move on his script and beat him for his money. Eventually, Dante was picked up. As the case started making his way to trial with Dante, Troy was the state's key witness. He explained how he was just trying to squash a beef between his two friends, but Dante's lawyer explained the situation different. He stated Troy and Ty were trying to pull a move and take over the neighborhood. He then asked Troy, if not, why did he keep coming back? The first trial was a mistrial with Dante, but in the second trial, the jury found him guilty of attempted first degree hit and other charges. He was sentenced to 51 years in prison, all suspended, but 30. Cause he is incarcerated at the time up Roxbury in Hagerstown, but I couldn't find any information about the amount of time he received in his role in the situation. Fortunately, nobody lost their life in this case, but it goes to show you how tricky the streets can get. You gotta know when to hold and when to fold. Troy claims he was just trying to make peace, but playing the middleman can cost you your life. Sometimes it's just best to stay in your lane. Now $300 in a conversation caused one man to be head up and two men to go to prison. But hey, that's the Baltimore way. Yeah, man, crazy story. Y'all definitely let me know what y'all think about this one in the comments. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. This is another episode of the Baltimore way. It's all love, fam. This your boy Tony two times. I'm out.